城太郎ディオほう向かってくるのか逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのか近づかなきゃてめえをぶちのめせないんだな何<笑>ちょっと待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って To a new episode of me oh, no. roasting every single on the planet. Episode. Welcome today. Today we're gonna take a look at this ingenious <laughs> prankster called J Station. What the fuck is he? J Station is a 25 year old YouTuber. He makes porn oh, no. videos. He makes. Uh, a lot of videos that Morks would make. He does a lot of challenge videos. He's a kind of a big YouTuber, 4.5 million subscribers. So, and he gets a decent amount of views on his videos. But the way he does this is by, you know it, clickbaiting. Yeah. Chase Station is also known for faking a lot of his pranks. I'm still not really out of the whole mindset that I would hate fake pranks. I would rather that you fake a shitty prank instead of actually torturing and harassing uh, just random people on the streets. But there is a difference because... Because pretty recently J Station made a video about his house being overrun with big bad burglars. The first thing that obviously came to his mind was You know what, I gotta grab my phone and record the shit out of it. Gotta call the police? Nah, who cares? Gotta confiscate the murder weapon? Nah, who cares? <laughs> who needs a murder weapon? Who needs evidence? Stop right there, criminal scum! Editing my video for you guys. All of a sudden, three dudes in masks run up in my house, ski mask on, start beating me senseless, bro. And he basically films himself being covered in bruises, basically being... Guys, guys, holy shit, fam, squad, yo, what up, my bros, I have just been robbed by people! Then he shows the house and what supposedly happens. What's popping, guys? Back with another banger video. Your boy got fucked up, yo. People just ran in my house. Why? Why? And then he shows where they came in. And basically, what he shows is a, a giant floor covered in footprints, supposedly left by the burglars. You know, the burglars who have either put freaking oatmeal oatmeal <laughs> on the freaking bottom of their shoes and just stepped carefully carefully on these specific spots because in the rest of the house there's there's no footprints to be seen just only on that specific area basically uh they come in the house i was sitting here they run up on me they uh they just punch me in the face they choke me out push me against this wall i struggle around I end up on here, look at this blood all up on here, here, they're beating the fuck out of me right there. Basically having some blood splatters all over the wall, which he could have easily faked. And then he shows the creme de la creme, of course, the murder weapon. They had this shit on me. They said they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Where's the money? Where's the Rolex? You little bitch. You ain't deserve no f Rolex. Yeah, is this evidence? He picks it up. Oh no, there goes your evidence. But the thing that bothers me the most is that people are so empathetic with him down in the comments. They're all being like, Oh my god, oh that's so stupid that happened to you. I'm 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 praying for you. Hope hope you're doing alright. Hope those those bruises go away. He's a f Stop <laughs> please. You know he's he's famous for his pranks. Alright? You know he makes a lot of these videos. So making one like this wouldn't seem too out of the ordinary for the pranks. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's fake. Who knows? Who knows? Probably? Maybe? Huh? Yes. JayStation is also known for his 3 a.m. content. You know, 3 a.m., the spookiest hour on there. The hour when Satan comes down from heaven or hell, I don't know. And basically, I don't know, chills out for an entire hour on Earth. And after that, he goes back 
I don't know, what, what happens at 3 a.m.? Why is it always 3 a.m.? And basically, J Station just does some random shit at 3 a.m. That's supposedly scary. He just finds an, you know, an elbow door and it starts speaking. What the fuck? Or he goes with his friends, or he is getting called by Sans or Nertil. Sans? Or a ghost, freaking wanked in a napkin. I don't like where this is going. Threw it against the wall. Stop! And he's being like, oh my god, guys, look at that napkin, it's just floating over there. No, 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 there's white stuff coming behind it. You don't know what you're doing here. It must be a ghost, it must be ectoplasm and shit. <laughs> he's been in a lot of drama recently, uh, doing a lot of shitty clickbait. I know clickbaiting on YouTube is something controversial and some people don't like it, some people do like it. I don't really mind it myself. If the video delivers on what is being said in the title, I don't really mind it, but recently with the passing of Attica, uh, God bless his soul, but he has made a video basically clickbaiting Attica's death and that is something that I am really against. If there is someone who passed recently who was a popular figure, just leave him alone, basically. I, I mean, sure, if his, if his last wish was that people could make videos on him, sure. But bring him in a positive light. Basically what JStation did was make a video summoning Attica on a 3 a.m. challenge on a Ouija board. And just the whole shit was just a, a shit fest. I know he said in his comments that he donated money to the, to the freaking foundation of Attica's family. And that he wanted to help the family. But this is just something you don't do. You can donate money all you want. But just don't make a video like this on him because a lot of people will fucking hate you like me like uh, I, I i think the video has a five percent like ratio and that's that's bad my my dude clickbaited the the death of xx tentacion and i guess you're gonna do a lot more stuff like that because people like j station don't really change i mean he, he he tries to and he tries to damage control by changing the title and stuff like that but come on the video still has ads, mid-rolls, and you still gain a lot of views and attention from them. Which is not right. You can't clickbait someone like that. It's it's wrong. Sure, if you have drama with someone, it's fine. Clickbait the shit out of them all you want. If you make a video about a particular person that has done something to you, or you don't agree with their standpoints, sure, fine. But don't make a video like this, clickbaiting someone's passing. It's, it's just fucked up, please don't. <coughs> I'm gonna die. If you guys all like this video, be sure to smack the like button. Subscribe. Yes, do that, because otherwise I will die. And if you don't subscribe, that's fine. I'll die anyway. I'm already dead inside. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.